So in today's world, everything is about technology and everything else is about coffee, at least in my world. I love the two and I wanted to start a channel that really focused on uh, new technologies, how they're changing the world and how technology is also changing coffee. And today we're going to be covering a very, very serious issue. An issue that affects a lot of us it really, really touches my heart emotionally. The iPhone 6 Plus water damage episode. Yes, the first episode of Coffee and Tech with Calum is going to be covering my iPhone 6 Plus, which I took to Hawaii, which was great, but that I destroyed using a waterproof case that I bought via Amazon, which turns out to not be waterproof as advertised from a company called whatever the hell that is. Do not use it because it will not work because it is not in fact waterproof. We're going to be going through the steps to fixing this iPhone 6 Plus. A few things, a repair kit. It only costs about $5 on Amazon. Oh, I am sure that this company, Fosmon, is a very fine establishment. Inside the pack, you'll find three screwdrivers, two plastic clips, two things that look like tiny guitar picks, and a suction cup with a little key ring thingy on it. 91% isopropyl alcohol. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep looking at the screen over here because that's where my face is, but I should be looking at you there. A plastic container. This one's a little greasy. Pop that out. You need a hair dryer. A hair dryer will do the trick if you turn it on high and uh, hold it very, very close to the phone. That's all you'll need. So first, you want to open up your iPhone 6 Plus. You'll find two screws here and here on the front of the screen. Take your clip and pop those pieces off. Remove this piece of plating right side if you're looking down. In order to remove the battery, we're gonna have to heat it up. But we will turn on high, we will heat the battery up so that the adhesive will melt and that we can pry the battery off. Try using a butter knife if the guitar pick doesn't work. with your 91% alcohol. After 15 minutes, remove the phone from the alcohol. This is where we stop working on our iPhone 6 Plus because we don't have the replacement charging port. Or do we? Our replacement charging port. And we do know that the old port was shorted out because we saw the corrosion on the inside of it plus the rust. So, after numerous attempts, a nifty little iPhone repair kit, and a few tips from a couple of my friends online, I was not able to repair my iPhone 6 Plus. Fail. So, to answer the question, can you fix your iPhones at home like a pro? In my case, no. No, I cannot. 
Give it a try. Why not? It can't hurt unless you break it even more, and then that's your fault. I do have insurance on my phone, so I will be getting a brand new one very soon. Get the insurance beforehand, break your phone, and then file a claim. Today's episode of Coffee and Tech was brought to you by JavaBoxCoffeeClub.com, a coffee of the month club that sends premium fair trade coffees from around the world straight to your door every month. They have a lot of really, really qualified and passionate roasters working hard to bring you the best coffees possible to make your mornings as awesome as possible. Go to JavaBoxCoffeeClub.com, enter promo code Coffee and Tech to get your first box for up to 40% off. So to wrap up today's episode, no, I cannot fix my iPhones like a pro. You should still give it a shot at home. Hopefully you can save yourself some money and at the same time, learn a little bit more about your technology. Until next time, this is Coffee and Tech with Kalem. I'm your host, Kalem Jones. See you soon. If you like what you saw here today, do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom. If you have any comments on whether or not you were able to fix your iPhone at home, let me know in the comments section below. And if you have any tips or other reviews that you'd like to see, please let us know in the comment section as well. Until next time, 